story box. Are you ready to rock with the letter R? Are you ready for R? Are you ready for R? Are you ready for a rocket ride? Are you ready for a regiment of rhinoceroses to rumble through your yard? Are you ready for R? Are you ready for R? Are you ready to roll your boat? Are you ready for a rumble of reindeer? Are you ready for R? When you're rolling, are you rolling? Down the road on your roller skates, racing, playing racing, down the river in your own way. Do you remember the raccoon riding in the rickshaw? Hey, Panda Bears, good morning and happy, happy, happy Monday. Are you ready for R? Good job. Okay, here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yes, you. Good morning, little pandas. So glad to see you and 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 you. Are you ready for R? That fun video was from Storybots, and I absolutely love the Storybots videos, especially those letter videos, because each one is only about a minute long. They're pretty short, but they're filled with so many different things that start with each letter. They're awesome, and it's a great way to make our vocabulary bigger for each letter and to find different words that start with our letter of the day. So that was StoryBot's letter R. Okay, let's come to our calendar. Bear Cub University presents Panda Virtual Academy. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2020. And as you know, our letter is, shout it out, pandas. That's right, R, capital R and lowercase r. We are going to focus on our kinder skill practice of colors, color identification, our color song. And for story time, the name of our story is called The Biggest Pumpkin Ever by Stephen Kroll and illustrated by Jenny Bassett. And it looks like this. So be sure to watch our story time video later on today after calendar time. Okay, panda bears, let's make it a great day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Panda Bears. All right. Here we go with a panda bear cup alma mater. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Panda, panda, turn around. Panda, panda, touch the ground. Panda, panda, reach up high. Reach up high. Panda, panda, wink one eye. Panda, panda, pat your knees. Panda, panda, turn around and freeze. All right, pandas, it's time to get the wiggles out. Shake our sillies out. A one, a two, a one, two, three. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, 
Shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. Hooray, we're gonna jump, jump, jump our jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out and wiggle our waggles away. Hooray! Way to go, pandas. All right, let's practice our ABCs. And today when we sing our ABCs, let's do arm twirls back and forth to the right and to the left. Sound good? Sound great? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right, here we go, pandas. A one, a two, a one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. 26 letters from A to Z. How many letters do you have in the alphabet pandas? Yes, that's right, 26. 26 letters from A to Z. And our letter today is the letter R. All right, let's get a little counting and exercise in as well. What should we do today? I'm thinking it's Monday. Let's get our energy up. Let's do some jumping jacks. So right now I want you to make sure that you have enough space around you to do some jumping jacks. All right, so make sure you're not going to hit anything, that you have plenty of space to do your jumping jacks. Thumbs up when you're ready. All right, good job, panda bears. We are going to count to 30. Yeah, to 30, awesome. Here we go, so hands on hips, smile on lips. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Count with me. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Silent chair. Way to go, panda bears. Great warm up this morning. All righty. Here we go. Calendar time. Calendar time. Calendar time is oh so fine. Calendar time. Calendar time. Calendar time is Oh, so fine. Who's ready for calendar time? I am. Let's get out our calendar. Remember, last time we were here on Friday, it was the second day of October. Yes, it was October 2nd. Pandas, can everybody put two up in there? Good job, pandas. Two, yes, it was the second day of October. Then we just had the weekend. The weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Can everybody take a minute and can you shout out one or two fun things you did this weekend? What'd you do this weekend? Oh, fun. I went on a picnic in the park with my family and I watched some football. Those were two of my weekend highlights. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you guys had a great time on your weekend. So we know that Friday was number two. We practiced that. Pandas, can you show me what number comes after two? If you have two and you go to the next number, how many do we have now? Shout it out. Three. Good job, pandas. So we'll put the three right here for Saturday. Now, if we have three and we add one more, now we have four. Show me four. 
Yes, you can do all four on one hand, or you can do two and two or three and one. All those ways make the number four. There it is, four for Sunday. Okay, so yesterday was Sunday and yesterday was number four. So what number is it today, number? That's right, five. Please repeat after me, say, Today is good Monday, October 5th, 2020. Very good, Panda Bears. So we already talked about that yesterday was Sunday. And if yesterday was Sunday, today is ma, 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 ma. Monday. So we'll put Monday right over here. And if today is Monday, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's, yeah, that's it, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Repeat one more time. Say, yesterday was Sunday. Good. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Fantastic. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2020. Okay, it's time for Days of the Week practice song. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Days of the week. 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 Of the week. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week. <gasps> seven days in a week. There we go, yeah, seven days in a week. So we can show five and two is seven. Shake it out. We can show two and five is seven. Shake it out, shake it out. <gasps> Let's show four. Show me four. And three is seven. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then shake it out. We can reverse it. We can do the three first. And then the four. Good. And that makes seven too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven days in a week. Good. Yeah. So we know we have seven days in a week. We know that today is Monday. Let's go over to our months of the year. Can you repeat that, Panda? Say months of the year. Yes, and you guys have been doing such a fabulous job at practicing your months of the year, okay? Repeat after me. Say January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, yeah, that's over three now, November, December. These are the months of the year. There are 12 months in a year. These are the months. We shouted them only once and we shouted them loud enough for all to hear. All right, I have some homework for you. I want you to practice the months of the year dance two times after calendar time today by yourself. See if you can remember all the months of the year. It's a challenge, can you do it? I think you can. 
All right, have fun doing that. Okay, pandas, let's go over one more time. We know today is Monday. We know we're in the month of October, which is the 10th month of the year. Can everybody show me 10? Good, October is the 10th month of the year. We know that it's October 5th. It's the fifth day of October already. And we know our year is 2020. Let's take a look at our season. What season are we in? That's right, autumn or fall. Let's practice our season song one time. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There's four seasons, four in all. Winter. <gasps> spring. Good. Summer. Fall. <gasps> Winter, spring, summer, fall. There's four seasons, four in all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Four seasons, four in all. How many seasons do we have? Four seasons, and they last, each season lasts three months long. So remember, we will be in this season of fall and autumn until right before Christmas time, and then it will be the season of winter. Very good, pandas. Okay, it's time for weather time. It's the weather report. Okay, weather reporters, it's your time to shine. Pandas, can you go over to your windows, open your blinds, and see what type of weather you see outside. I'm going to go right over here, and I'm going to check outside and see what kind of weather I see. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm looking to see if I see any leaves on the trees moving. If I see lots of leaves moving on the tree, then what type of weather would it be? Good, it would be windy. I don't see any wind today. What do you see? Show me. Okay, yeah. See sun and I see clouds. Anybody see rain out there? What about snow? Anybody see snow? And does anybody see leaves or wind outside? All right, so I want you, when I put up the weather, I want you to show me our symbol for that weather. Do you remember all of our motions? Yeah, okay. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather today? Show me sunny. Show me rainy. God, rain droplets coming down. Show me cloudy. Big clouds and small clouds. Show me snowy. Make the snowballs, snowflakes falling. Show me windy. Show me stormy. I need to make one of these for stormy, right? How's the weather today? A -A. Very good. Thank you for your participation with the weather today. You guys are doing absolutely amazing. So proud of you. All right. We talked about weather. We talked about seasons. We know our date. I think we have finished up with our calendar time portion and now it's time for our letter of the day to shine. Shout out the letter if you know it. Yes, the letter R. R. Good job. Okay, I'm going to go over and get our letter R poem and we have capital R and lowercase r letter practice and we have some vocabulary words that start with the letter R. Okay so first let's start with capital R and lowercase r. Can you take your air finger and let's practice forming capital R. 
So we're gonna do a line straight down. Whoop. Then we're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna make a bubble, an oval shaped bubble. And then we're gonna go down diagonal. That's the capital R. Let's try that two more times. Whoop, whoop, whoop. One more time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Capital R. And panda bears, if you happen to have your capital R and lowercase r like this, this worksheet out with you, you can practice doing it on this if you would like to, right? Yes, you can do your finger tracing. So let's try it on this. So if you have one of these out in front of you, I'll give you a second if you wanna grab it and put it on the table or the floor in front of you. As I'm practicing, yeah, finger tracing, our capital R and lowercase r, you can do it along with me. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Whoop, whoop, whoop. One more time for the capital R. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Capital R. What about lowercase r? We're going to start here about halfway, not all the way to the top, but a little more than halfway. We're gonna go down, whoop, and whoop. Good, let's try it again. It starts to arch, kind of like you're starting to make a rainbow. One more time. Whoop, whoop. Okay, pandas, everybody point to the lowercase r, the little r. Can you point to the little r, lowercase r? Good. Now, pandas, point to the capital R or the big r, uppercase r. Fantastic. Remember, you will find the capital letters when it's somebody's name or at the beginning of the sentence, right? Or if it's a proper noun, if it's a place. All those are usually capital letters. And we'll learn more about that as we grow bigger and older. But that's a good way to, yes, our names start with capital letters. Good job. Good job. So there's our capital R and our lowercase r. And remember that you can always get out your yellow letter of the day and practice air tracing throughout our calendar time and practice finger tracing as well before you start your rainbow tracing with crayons or markers. And if you decide to glue anything on here to practice forming capital and lowercase r. Way to go. Okay, we also have more letter R practice for the star of the show. So we have our star right here. Yeah, just like Sarah's star that we learned about on Friday, right? We have our capital R and our lowercase r. You also get to trace lowercase r four times. One, two, three, four. And capital R four times. One, two, three, four. So you're going to connect those dots together like you've been doing and making lowercase and capital R, then you're going to find them. Remember to circle lowercase and capital R's. What letter is that? Is that an R? No, that's a B. That's a capital B. So if it's not the star of the show, then you can practice putting an X through it. Yeah, you can put an X if it's not a capital R, lowercase R today. You can put an X through it to practice that. Then down here is where you get to practice forming lowercase r's and capital r's all by yourself. This also has a sight word sentence. It says, I like to run. And it has an exclamation point. Yeah, we love the exclamation points. Exclamation point at the end. You can practice tracing over it if you would like. Or if you're ready to write it, you can practice that as well. Or you can practice reading it. So there's lots of different things to do. Also, who is this? 
a rabbit. Good. So you can color in the rabbit. And if you would like to trace over the word rabbit and write it by yourself, you can do that as well. There's so many fun things you can do with the Star of the Show worksheet. And remember to practice writing your name at the top. Yes, writing our names is so very important. Give me a thumbs up if you've been practicing writing your name. Good. Yeah, with a capital letter to begin with. Great job. And then on the back, if you would like, you can practice more capital or lowercase r's, or you can draw a picture of something that starts with r. Maybe you'll get ideas from our letter r poem. There we go. Let's look at the picture. What do you see? Shout it out. Tell me what you see. A horse, okay. And a girl riding a horse. Oh, the horse looks tired. Oh, and look what's coming right behind the horse. Yeah, it looks like the horse has kicked up some dirt. So maybe the horse is running really, really fast, right? Okay, please listen to our letter R poem. Rachel rode her race horse. Round and round they ran. Er, er, er. Rachel won the race. All right, repeat after me, please. Say, Rachel rode her race horse. Your turn. Good. Round and round they ran. Good. Er, er, er. Try it again. I know uh, sometimes we hear r, r for r, but the actual sound, we're going to practice making it er, er. Yeah, just like that. Try it again. Er, er, er. Nice. One more time. Er, er. Er. I have a great Jack Hartman video that will help you practice the letter R sound, and I will attach that as well. Rachel won the race. Your turn. Yes, and the exclamation point. Yes, good job for saying it with excitement. Let's say that one one more time. Rachel won the race. Nice job, pandas. Let's say it all together one more time. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Rachel rode her race horse. Round and round they ran. Er, er, er. Rachel won the race. Fabulous, panda bears. Good job. Okay, now we get over this and that. What about our letter R vocabulary? We have, yes, R, start out rings, rings. Good, yeah, because if you said ra, it'd be rings. No, it only works making the ra if there's an a as the second letter, right? That's why we practice just making the R sound by itself with er, 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 rings, 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 rings. Your turn. Good. Rings. Nice. Okay. What about, ooh, er, rabbits. Good. Rabbits. Nice. Rabbits. How many? Good job. Two rabbits. What about, oh, it's a beautiful flower, but it's a specific kind of flower. Flower starts with F. This type of flower starts with R, with the rose. Rose. Good. Good. Say rose. And oh, you might have one of these in the bathroom or in the kitchen in front of the sink 
or right inside your front door. It's a rug. Say it, rugs, rugs. Good job, one more time, rugs. Rose. Rabbits, rings, way to go panda bears. For your craft and cutout, we have our five capital R's in different fonts, our five lowercase R's in different fonts, and we have a rainbow for you to color. And inside the rainbow, it tells you what color that you should use. It says red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. <gasps> red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rain. Bow, rainbow purple, rainbow blue, rainbow green and yellow too, rainbow orange, rainbow red, rainbow smiling overhead. When I point to the color, please shout it out, pandas. What color? Red. What color? Green. What color? Orange. What color? Blue. Good. What color? Yes, yellow, yellow, awesome. And what color? P -p Good, purple, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rainbow. Wow, thank you for practicing the colors of the rainbow song along with learning about the letter R. Yeah, because the rainbow does start with R. So let's go back to our arts and crafts. Remember, you get to color, you can color those in with markers or crayons or paints. And then don't forget, you can use scissors or tear art to Tear out all the capital R's and lowercase R's and practice pasting them on to another sheet. Good job. Way to practice. Good, yes, way to practice R. Okay, before we finish, I have two more sentences. Okay, they're sight word sentences, so we can practice our reading and our letter identification, our letter focus of the day, letter R. Okay, so can you tell me what this sentence says? Look at the picture. Yeah, we did these a few weeks ago, good. So what is that a picture of, Panda? Shout it out, what do you see? A rainbow, right? Yes, and it's just like our song. Good job. This sentence says, I see a rainbow. And it has a period. Good. All right, let's say it all together. I see a rainbow. One more time. I see a rainbow. Now it's your turn. Can you say the sentence? Good job, here we go. Your turn, ready, set, go. Say it. <gasps> Silent cheer. Way to go, pandas. All together one more time. I see a rainbow. Nice. All right, I have one more. <gasps> Ooh, what do you see in this picture? Yes. Rabbits. How many rabbits do you see? 
two, one, two. Good job. This sentence says, I see two. That's the word two written out. And that is the number symbol for two. Yes, that's what we see two written as a number. It says, I see two rabbits. Good. Say it all together. I see two rabbits. One more time. I see two rabbits. Say it back to me. Your turn. Ready, set, say it. Nice job, pandas. Silent chair. Wow, pandas, you did a wonderful job for this Monday, October 5th, 2020. I am so proud of you for practicing, 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 and learning all about the letter R, for focusing on our colors, for doing such a great job with the weather, for just doing a wonderful all around job. So, so very proud of you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday with your station rotations. Enjoy worksheet time and writing time, coloring time. Make sure you get lots of free choice time in, play time, and also some arts and crafts fun. So make it a great day, pandas, and looking forward to seeing you back at story time when we read The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. Thanks again. Make it a great day. Bye.